2017 Kia Sorento rear brakes. So you want to take your wheel off. Uh, the lug nuts are 21 millimeter. Obviously, jack your car up safely. Um, you know, you don't need to be having no car fall off, any jacks on you, nothing like that. Uh, once you get the wheel off, we're going to come over here. This is your caliper bolt. It's a 14 millimeter. There's one here and there's one on the bottom as well. You just got to come out, save them, put them in a safe spot. Going to reuse them. Um, go ahead and get these out. They're not that tight. If the uh, nut on the inside spins, just hold it with some pliers while you get the bolt on the outside. I'll show you what I mean in, a little later in the video. Um, so we'll get these out. Okay. Like I said, put these somewhere safe. You, can, you should be able to wiggle this off. If, if you can't, just use like a flathead to kind of pry it off. Um, these are your springs right here. These, I would save these, you're going to need them. I know I left the caliper hanging, I'm, I'm going to put it up in just one sec. It's a light caliper, so it's not that bad, but every caliper, you need to support it, put it over here. Make sure your brake line is supported. Once that's good, we can take these brake pads out. Uh, you can pull them out with your fingers, or if they're real s stuck in there, you could use a flathead to just kind of gently pry them, being careful not to scratch the rotor. So go ahead and get this out. Now I'm only doing the pads. If you guys were taking the caliper bracket off, it's this 14 millimeter here and down here. It's just similar to the caliper bolts. There's one on top, one on bottom. And then for your rotor, you need to unscrew these screws in the front of the rotor. Um, you could pull these pins out and put some lube on them and then put them back in these little um, spots. They need to be able to move back and forth freely. Um, I mean not like super easy and freely, but they need to be able to move back and forth Sometimes they get stuck and they don't and they get seized So make sure you put some lube in there because they dry out Like I said if you're gonna take the road off these front screws need to come out if they haven't already been taken off um, I have a video on how to get those out if they're being stubborn you can search it in my videos um, Just doing the pads. Here's my part number. These are from Kia. This comes with hardware It comes with new pads Already with the shims on. That's that's really cool. It comes with the shims on and the sensor for the inner pad. It comes with that too. These are your inner pads. It has a, a little um, spot for the caliper to hit. Uh, didn't come with these springs, so I'm gonna just reuse the springs I had. Um, if if you got some lube, you can lube the sides of the pads. I want to mean just like the little like ears on them. Uh, you don't have to. I just do it. Um, just to try to eliminate any possible squeaking or nothing uh, So let's go to the hardware to get the hardware out You just take a little flathead or something and you just gently pop them up They can be stubborn So you go ahead and get these off and Then your new ones just go right on match match the one up that you took off it, it should match up perfectly with your new one and uh, Then you just put this on and just push it in place make sure that they're not rubbing against the rotor a lot of times guys will put them on and not notice that the hardware is rubbing against the rotor and it makes a scratching sound when they drive so go ahead and do that all right so i got that on make sure to do top and bottom on both sides so now i got uh, my pad ready to go in this is the inner you can tell because it has the small um, little uh, thing disregard this little shiny black stuff on the pad this is some anti-squeak uh, stuff that the um, customer wanted put on so you don't have to put that on just that's why it looks like that don't put any lube on the front on the pad itself on the pad material I mean so I got those in put my clips in you're gonna have to hold when you put these clips in you're gonna have to hold it with your hand because when you uh, put the caliper on they'll pop off I'll show you what I mean in a minute but uh, first this caliper piston has to be pushed in I have a tool that does it um, you could use like giant channel locks or the guys get all kind of creative ways to push that in place So um, let's go ahead and push this in All right, that was my phone. Sorry about that and um, Get your clips hold them like this with one hand and then put the caliper on with your other hand Just like that and then we'll put our caliper bolts in Go ahead and that's that's that nut spinning that I mentioned earlier that will spin on you, so you got to hold that with some pliers or a wrench while you um, tighten the, the uh, bolt on the outside. I would, I would recommend like pliers because sometimes a wrench doesn't fit on it. 
it has like a weird lip on it but go ahead and get the top and bottom uh secure i mean tight i'll put torque specs in the um in the uh description a little later but anyways get them tight and then that's pretty much it guys so hope this video helped you out make sure your brake line isn't twisted or kinked in any way or looking weird and that's it